Hello, today we will take a look at how to get push sound mix modifiers to actually work for your game. I will also show you the muffle sound mix that I use in my game, which you could play with the link in the description below. Now, without further ado, here's the demo. And with the demo done, let's jump into the tutorial section now. So as you can see, I have the push sound mix modifier here, and this is probably what you already have as well if you've begun developing this and you don't hear the sound effect, because this will not do the effect on its own. You still have to set a sound mix class override and then ensure that it also tries to push the same uh, modifier. All right, next we can jump into the mix modifier effect here. Here is the effect, so you could feel free to just pause the video and copy it if you would like. For those that already have their own effect or they wish to just continue with the video, uh, you want to just ensure that you have a sound class here or else it most likely won't work. Uh, and that's about it, what we have to do here. Uh, then you ensure that you have the same sound class here. And let's jump into that now. This setup is based on how the Lara project does its sounds. You have a overall, uh, which goes into the application focus, which then allows me to separate the UI and the rendered cinematic sounds from this effect. I don't want the muffle effect to happen on the UI because it wouldn't really make sense. Uh, yeah, so I get to put that as a child of the application focused uh, and its children is the music as effects and yeah, dialogues, etc. Et Those things that I actually want to be affected by the effect. So let's say that we changed this to uh, the, the sound class here and most likely in here as well. Uh, let's say we changed that to be the application focus. That would mean that we would affect all of these. Of course, that's not what I want, but that's what would happen. So you need to ensure that your, your logic your, your chain basically makes sense for what you want to do, where you, where you want to have your effect happen. With that, the effect should now work. One final thing, if you would like to remove this effect, whether it be your character healed or anything like that, all you would have to do is just call this uh, function here, which is called pop sound mix modifier. And then you select the mix modifier that we just made uh, and that we just pushed. And yeah, that should take care of it. Just realized I didn't record a uh, outro for my video, so uh, yeah. <laughs> like the video if I was able to help you out uh, or fix your issue. Uh, if I didn't, comment. Uh, if you have a different video suggestion, comment as well. And uh, subscribe to the channel. Bye.